Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the first official episode of DCP. <laughs> wanted to bring your, your guys' attention to a big issue when it comes to the Android community. So I'm just going to put my phone to the side here because I'm going to show you a little screenshot of some things that iOS have. So as you can see, once someone receives a text in iOS, you can slide down and then reply to the text from whichever screen you're in. So let's say you're watching a YouTube video. Or you simply just wanted to read an important article or, you know, you're just um, going around trying to go browse through Instagram or Snapchat or whatever and someone texts you. Now with Apple here, you can easily just slide down and reply to the text from within the screen. The video won't stop playing. Everything is cool and Gucci. However, I've noticed with my Samsung Galaxy S4 that it unfortunately is not a feature, or so I thought. When I was going through and watching some Lollipop reviews a couple months ago, I thought that it was only possible for those who had the Samsung Galaxy S5 or Note 4 and higher to be able to reply to texts. However, that is not the case. It's actually really cool because while I was going around and fiddling around yesterday with my Android in the messaging app, I was able to find something that I'm surprised Android did not front force and put right on their phone since it's such a great feature. It makes them an even better competitor with iOS 8 and Apple itself. I was thinking of actually switching to an Apple product because of the reason that I wasn't able to multitask when doing different things. So here I am in the messaging. All I'm going to do is simply click on the task button right here, which is to the left of the home button. And it will bring up a little menu here, a mini menu that many um, Samsungs have. And you can delete draft messages, all that great stuff. But we're going to go to the regular settings and it's the second last option. Here you can go through things and change the display, which is what I usually do. But if you scroll down, the third final option will be something about notifications. So if we tap on notifications here, we can see that you can enable notifications on or off, which means you will or won't receive notifications whenever someone texts you. You can turn on the vibrate, you can repeat a message, and there is pop-up display and preview message. Pop-up display by default will always be unchecked, but what you're going to do in order to get those pop-up messages is to enable them. So here is the final product. That's simply all you have to do. No need to download any third-party apps, which I think is really, really cool because no one wants to really download bloatware. I'm sure with Go SMS you're able to do this, and I did actually go ahead and purchase Go SMS Pro, but sometimes you don't want that bloatware. You just want your Android to do what a phone should do. So I'm going to be demonstrating how this works and how it looks. That you have the option to call someone, you have the option to reply, or you have the option to view the message. So if I want to reply, I'll just tap reply. And as you can see, my keyboard comes up and I have my little enter message so I can say, yeah, I got you, blah, blah, blah. See you tomorrow, blah, 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 blah. The only thing is you can't send an attachment, which is the same thing as it were for iOS. So you can tap send. Let's say you're in another app watching a video. You'll be able to receive the message and the app is still going on in the background. So as you can see, I'm still watching the video in the background. And you can simply tap the screen to get rid of the text and you can reply from right in here which i think is super super cool and really great so if you guys want to check this out the it's very simple if you've forgotten what i said already or you haven't been following along i'll have all the steps in the description box below there's also some other juicy content there make sure to follow me on twitter at diy conspiracy underscore and also if you have any requests or questions or specific reviews you'd like me to do leave them in the comments down below if you're directed for business inquiries i do have a business email um it's diyconsults at gmail.com and it's also in the description box below so feel free to reach out to me there 
Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed this episode of DCP, and I'll see you next week. Be blessed. Wow.